I got one and a half kilo of lamb in here. Nice big chunks. I'm making biryani, lamb biryani. So I've got a tenderizer, a teaspoon full of tenderizer. When you put tenderizer in your meat, because I'm making raw biryani, so you have to cook within one one hour or two hours. You can't leave it that long because then your meat will all split into pieces. Now I've got this alu buhara. That's dried plums. Put some in there. And I got some masala and starnies, two starnies, and some biryani masala in there. The dried onions, you fried onions, go in there as well, half a cup. Two limes, juice, lemon or lime, whatever you prefer. A heaped uh, tablespoon of uh, garlic ginger paste, two green chilies, handful of coriander, one tablespoon of salt if needed. You can always add. You can taste it. I'm going to marinate it for a couple of hours and one yogurt, cup of yogurt. This is my lamb marinated. I had it in the refrigerator for one hour. Half a cup of oil goes in there. need to mix it well. I put water, boil the water with the color jeera, black cumin, and when the water boiled, I put my three cups of rice in it and salt. I put uh, two tablespoons of salt because it needs more in the biryani. Now my rice is half cooked. I'm going to strain it and then show you what to do. I put two tablespoons of oil in it as well when I boiled it. My meat is boiling now. It's cooking. I've got three cups of rice. I'm going to put one and a half cup here and then one and a half cup on the top. I'm going to layer it up. Good. Now this is my fried onions. I put half of them here and the rest half I'm going to put it on the top. My mint and my coriander, fresh ones. And this is two serving spoons of desi ghee, that's pure ghee, and some boiled rice or uh, water in there. That goes in there as well. And now saffron and a bit of color that goes on top. This is my biryani. I put atta to hold the steam in so you don't lose the steam out. That's the main purpose. That's how it's cooked in its own steam. It's on medium fire. When the steam builds up, you can see from the glass, then you put it on, on a tawa or any metal piece and put it on a very low fire for 40 minutes and then you check.
It's been 40 minutes now and I'm going to open the lid. Wow, beautiful smell, the aroma. My biryani is done. It looks beautiful, it's lovely. This is my biryani, that's how it looks like. Thank you for watching.